Hello. This is for document E for our DBQ. This is about the human cost of the wall. So good one for talking about costs. First of all, is this a primary or secondary source? So we'll check out the information at the top. It says it's a list compiled from various sources, including legends and folk songs, as well as historical documents. So it sounds like this was made from research, even though it's based on some primary sources like legends and folk songs. It is going to be, let's see, what is it? You're right, it is secondary because it was created from research. So before we get on with the document, remember a convict is a person who is serving a prison sentence for committing a crime. And convicts are sometimes forced to do work like building the Great Wall of China. And then we also have peasants in this document. And remember, a peasant is a poor farmer or a farm worker. Emperor Qin Shi Huangdi forced many peasants to help build the Great Wall of China, and the Han Dynasty forced peasants to move to the frontier next to the Great Wall. So still, peasants getting ordered around in both dynasties. Now, there's some vocabulary right here you might want to refer back to, and I'll try to re remember to come back to it. But these are words that we didn't define in our vocabulary page because we don't use them a lot, but they are used in this document. So desolate is just basically like a desert. A casualty is something that a person or thing that has been injured, lost, destroyed. Generally thinking about like a soldier who's died in war, that would be a casualty. Colonize is um, when somebody from somewhere else comes and takes control of an area. So Europeans came and colonized the Americas because originally the Native Americans were in control, but then the Europeans came and colonized the area. So in ancient China, we're going to be talking about the Han Chinese, what we refer to now as Han Chinese, the Chinese people colonizing the area around the Great Wall. And earthen, if you see the beginning, that just means earth. So it's made from dirt and brutal means cruel or harsh. You might know that word already. So looking at your notes, you should already have circled that it is a, hmm, let's see, it was compiled from various sources. So that one was a secondary source. And you're ready to take these notes. I'm going to go ahead and read the document. So looking at the human cost of the Great Wall, first we're going to start with soldiers. This is divided into Qin Dynasty and the Han Dynasty by the two columns, starting with a Qin. 300,000 men from Qin's army ordered to build and guard the wall until it was complete. Soldiers were forced to leave families and villages for several years while they worked on the wall. They got to go home, though, if the soldiers did. Convict labor was sent to do much of the work. Now, convicts being people who were convicted of a crime, they're prisoners. I wonder if they're going to work willingly. Yeah, I'm going to guess not. I'm going to guess they'd rather run away or do something else. And so convict labor probably needs somebody to guard them and make sure they're staying there. And so I would imagine that several of the soldiers had to spend their time guarding the convicts as well as guarding the wall. But most of the work under Chin was done by convicts. Remember, he was, Emperor Chin was the one who was very harsh on his anybody who criticized him. So if you criticized him, there's a good chance you'd end up getting sent to the wall to build the wall. Not a punishment I would want to suffer. All right, the last bullet point then here. According to poetry and legend, tens of thousands of soldiers died from hunger, sickness, and extreme heat or cold. No exact numbers of deaths are available. Then under the Han Dynasty, soldiers were ordered to work on the wall for two to five years. Soldiers manned the wall and outposts in the desolate western frontier. Remember, desolate means like a, it's like a desert. There's not much life there. Plant life or human life. There was heavy fighting against the Xiongnu during much of the 2nd century BCE. One campaign in 104 BCE reported 80% Han casualties. A terrible cost of protecting the wall. So remember, casualties are people who are injured or killed. Generally, when we're talking about Han casualties, we're talking about soldiers who died. Well, soldiers' casualties, not just the Han ones. Um, 
So 80%, that means out of every 100 soldiers, 80 of them would have died, and only 20 of them out of every 100 were left. Whew, that's a lot of people who died. Big proportion. Now, that's in 104. And so thinking back to our document that had dates on it with the um, tribute, the, giving the, the silk to the Xiongnu, that start, the first date in there was 51 BCE, which would be another 53 years after that battle. So you can think of how that goes together as you're thinking about doing your essays. Um, so you should have that first section about the soldiers filled in, both sets of notes for the Qin and the Han. And now we'll go to the peasants. So here, the first bullet point on the notes it, on this chart is the under the Qin dynasty and the second bullet point is the Han dynasty. So looking at this, hmm, primary secondary source, well it's the same page, same source information, so it's still a secondary source. And during the sh so going on with the no with the reading, during the short 10-year period of Qin wall building, there was heavy use of peasant laborers who worked 7 days a week, sorry, 7 day work weeks with little food. During the eight months of winter, temperatures reached 20 to 30 below zero Fahrenheit. So 20 to 30 degrees below zero, and they didn't have enough food. Whew. Like I said, I don't want to make Emperor Chin unhappy and make it so he sends me out to work on that wall. Going on, in the Han period, peasant farmer families peasant farm families were forced to move north and west, both to colonize the Chinese frontier so to bring the Chinese people into that part of the um, that part of the world where they weren't living before really, and to build some four thousand miles of earthen wall. Remember, earthen means it's made out of dirt. While not as brutal as Qin conditions, life was still very hard. Many peasants and soldiers attempted to move across the border to live with the Xiongnu. Huh. So, I thought the wall was to keep the Xiongnu out, and yet here are peasants and soldiers wanting to go live with the Xiongnu. Hmm, that one's interesting and kind of hard to explain. So, you should have this filled in. So, when you're looking for evidence here, just write down either a quote or summarize one part of the document. What shows that the conditions were harsh for Qin and Han soldiers? Oh, there's one part that I just realized I forgot, because this kind of is one thing that I might mention. For both Qin and the Han dynasty, for all soldiers, loneliness and boredom was a problem. So, I don't know that loneliness and boredom make it especially harsh, but that could be one thing you put there. But there's, I think there's probably better things to put here about the conditions being harsh for both soldiers and peasants. You can use a, whatever information you think is best to show that the conditions were harsh. Then at the bottom of the page, do your costs and benefits. I don't know that this document has many benefits. If you look hard, you might be able to find something, but there's lots of costs here. That's why the document is titled the human cost of the Great Wall. So when you're finished up, then it's time to go on to the last document. You are so close to being done. Great job.